Here's a problem from Chapter 4 of Bach, Velman, DeVoe, uh, displaying quantitative data. Here we've got a histogram uh, showing the sizes and acres of 36 vineyards in the Finger Lakes region of New York. And um, they start out with a very specific quantitative question and then a little bit more of a, uh, a general question, give a description of the distribution. So. The first thing is just to really under make sure we understand what a histogram means. So remember that we've got bins, all these, uh, we're separating out the x-axis, the size axis into bins, 0 to 30, 30 to 60, 60 to 90, 90 to 120, et cetera. And then we're counting how many vineyards fall. They all have a certain size, and we're not actually telling you exactly what the sizes of all the vineyards are, but we're saying that 15 vineyards are between 0 and 30 acres. Uh, looks like about 13 vineyards are between 30 and 60 acres. Four vineyards are between 60 and 90, and then one in these bins. Notice there's nothing in the bins here. So we can count how many of these the 36 vineyards are under 60 acres. So they don't put a six, number 60 here, but that's clearly halfway between 0 and 20. So it looks like 15 plus, I think, 13, about 28 out of the 36. So we're getting 28 over 36, and we can just compute that. So about, let's say that's about 78%. So a little over three quarters of the vineyards are under 60 acres. So that's just a basic question about how you use histograms. Let's have the more interesting question, a brief description. Uh, lots of things we can ask about a description. Well, shape. Um, Often, is it symmetric? Does it have, uh, is it skewed? Does it have tails? Well, it's definitely not symmetric. And it's skewed. In what direction is the tail? Well, it looks like there's a tail that goes out to the right, so skewed to the right. Now, the skew, it, it's, if you think that skewed to the right, you, you would call it skewed to the left. It's, that's defensible. It's just you need to remember what the terminology is. It's what direction the tail, that extra tail, is going off in. So it looks like it's not symmetric and it's skewed to the right. Um, in terms of center, there's various measures of center we'll discover over the next couple chapters. But uh, the only one we know now is the mode is in somewhere in the 0 to 30 bin. So the majority or the most popular bin here is in the, uh, the 0 to 30, the small size. So there's a lot of small vineyards. Uh, a fair number of just a little bit bigger, and then it drastically goes down. But there are some ones that are much bigger. Um, and the spread, it, there's not a really nice measure of spread here. Um, I would say that it, we can, we'll, again, we'll get sort of more quantitative versions of, this, of the measures of spread here. But we could at least say that the, um, the range is around, well, it goes from somewhere near zero to somewhere over 240, maybe around 250 acres. So the total range between min and max is somewhere around 250 acres. We're never going to be exact on this with a histogram because they didn't even give us the exact data, and that's OK. And um, there seems to be maybe an outlier. Uh, one vineyard at uh, greater than 240 acres. And there's a bit of a gap between uh, 150, no, 180 and 240 acres, which isn't too surprising. When you've got such low numbers, if uh, there's going to be some, often some empty bins. OK. Um, so that's a pretty good description. We've got something that's, uh, the mode is pr pretty small, and it's skewed way to the right and uh, very un asymmetrical and looks like an outlier and some gaps.